This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching How To Jetty Programming. Today I'm joined with James who's going to go ahead and show us a little bit more on how to program your Jetty Duplex 2.4 transmitter. Hey guys, James with the Spree Model Jetty USA and welcome back to another programming video. I realized the other day when I was out at the field uh, flying with the guys uh, that uh, there's a few things that we probably should cover. I watched a couple of guys struggling with uh, maidens on their brand new Jetty DS14 radios and realized that they hadn't set up the trim. So I want to go ahead and go over some of the best ways to use the trims in the radio. There's a few different ways to do it. Um, so we'll cover those today. Uh, that should get all you guys that, that haven't learned or all the guys that are new to the radio, this should be this should get you going uh, on just about any model you want to set up. Uh, I've set up a demo model in the radio, so I've already got some flight modes set up and some other things, so uh, you'll have to, uh, to tailor this to your own approach or your own radio. We're going to hit menu. We're going to go into our fine-tuning menu. And I want to go ahead and start it off by showing you the digital trims. So if you click on digital trim under flight tuning, uh, you'll see the trim, the function it controls, and the values. Um, also, a lot of people aren't realizing this is actually two pages deep. There's down arrow, and uh, left and right arrow uh, at the bottom of the screen. So don't miss the information that's carried on the second page for that line. Uh, it gives you the uh, the mode for the trim and the step size for that and then how much of the or what percentage of the total travel you can trim to. Uh, so don't forget that's there. Um, first thing that you'll notice is the small uh, icons on the screen uh, under trim. Those actually represent the trim buttons underneath each gimbal. Uh, one of the things that we can do, a lot of people can't do, and uh, one of the things that really helps if you fly a lot of new models or as you're going through and resetting up old models uh, is you have the ability to assign each of those uh, trim buttons to a function you choose. Um, one of the things people get into a lot when they're flying a Maiden or they're flying a model they haven't flown in a long time uh, is that they're having to hold an input. Let's say they're having to hold a little elevator and a little aileron. Well, if you're having to hold elevator and aileron, it's really tough to get to the buttons directly underneath the stick. Uh, so what we do is what we do, we, we call cross trimming. Uh, you'll assign that right hand set of trim buttons to the left stick and, and vice versa. You do that by going into the line and adjusting the function corresponding to that. So instead of ailerons, we're going to make it rudder. And instead of elevator, we're going to go ahead and make that throttle and that's going to allow us to trim the left hand gimbal with the right hand trim buttons. Uh, we'll go ahead and go down to uh, the left hand trim buttons and we'll reassign those as well. Um, and once we've gone through and done this, I'll show you how it functions. Uh, we'll change throttle back over to elevator. And now you're covered under all of the uh, the trim buttons there. So we're going to go ahead and now that we've reassigned those, we're going to escape back to the main menu. Uh, click on our monitor button at the bottom of the screen uh, and show you that we still have our functions where we required them. We have two and four, our ailerons, our elevator is on five, our rudder is on six, our throttles on one, our flaps are on three. So, uh, but our trim now I'll go ahead and escape out to the main screen hit a trim button and you'll notice that as you're trimming you can see the change taking place on the screen there but it's actually going to correspond to the left stick so now you get in trouble holding a little elevator a little aileron use your left hand and trim that stick and you're all set uh, that's one of the ways you can use those buttons or you do the trims on the radio. Another is what we call auto trim and it's probably the fastest, easiest way to trim a new model or you have an issue. Uh, to do that, to set that up, you're going to go into advanced properties, click on other model options and under other model or other optional switches, you'll go down and you'll set up an auto trim switch. To do that, you select auto trim switch hit the switch that you'd like to use for the function. I'm using SF, click OK. 
Once you've selected the switch, you've gone back to the main screen, we'll go ahead and escape back. Uh, really super simple to use. Um, basically, if I flip SF on now in my main screen, you'll get a tone and we're in auto trim. So you'll notice if we hold our stick, you can see our trim moving to match that stick. When we're done, we center our stick, click the switch off. Now we've adjusted the plane to where we were holding uh, steady and level. Uh, if it's really off, you're going to hold a lot of stick. As the trim adjusts, you're going to need to come back to neutral to maintain that position. When your hands reach neutral, you shut the auto trim off uh, and you finish that up. And you can set that um, to work with all of your models all the way across the range. doesn't matter whether it's a helicopter, an airplane, uh, or a robot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work very well for you in the auto trim. The last thing that you can do, and, and one of the ways most of us are flying sailplanes or trimming the airplanes, uh, we're going to go into our fine tuning menu and go to flight mode trim. Uh, flight mode trim is nice because here you can actually set, just like it sounds, flight mode specific trim settings. Uh, so let's say we have camber settings on an airplane, um, you know, normal, thermal, cruise, you know, speed, uh, and we want to have different aileron or flapperon adjustments or flap adjustments for each of those m methods or each of those modes. We can go into each function, assign it as a separate unit, and what that's going to allow us to do now is make an adjustment per flight mode. So let's go ahead and just to give you an idea, we'll set 10% in our speed mode on our ailerons. Now when we flip to our other modes, you'll see they stay as they are until we make an adjustment in those modes. So now you have the ability to make adjustments based on your flight modes. Uh, and you can do that all the way across the board. Um, you can do that uh, through your standard flight modes as well. Like here's my rates. So now you see we've made adjustments. We have 20% rate here, zero and zero. Um, you would do that all the way through, and if you want to make one of your functions adjustable to the flight mode, um, just change it from global to uh, singular, and that'll allow you to make those changes. Uh, those are the three methods we suggest you use to adjust your trim. Uh, one that you can do that we suggest you not get into until you have a really good understanding of the radio itself um, is we caution you not to assign a trim switch in the functions assignment page because what that's going to do is going to add a, a limit to uh, the function's total travel based on a switch at the percentage you set. And until you have a really good understanding of the radio, we don't suggest using the trim assignment in the function assignment tab. So if you have any questions or anything, like always, reach out to us at james at espritmodel.com or reach us out to us at espritmodel.com or jettyusa. Um, again, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.